<laughs> I'm Bob the Beast Sap. Now, if you want to see the other beasts in nature, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be your tour guide. In the first place we're going, well, I'm going to show you killer whales. These very rare transient orca. Transient orcas. <laughs> Get ready. I've always loved animals, but I've always wanted to see the true beast of nature. Here's my chance. This is a travel show. This is a wildlife show. It's a little bit reality, but it's all real. Here we go, right over here. Come with me as I experience face to face some of the most ferocious, fearsome animals on earth. And watch what happens when the beast learns he ain't the biggest thing in the room anymore. This is crazy. This is me. see some orcas this morning. You bet. You got it. So we're out here. We're going to check it out. <laughs> Bob, what is it that you do? OK, now, what I do, I'm a professional fighter, so sometimes I'm knocking people out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm getting knocked out. There you go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, from what I understand, there's transient whales. There's resident whales. Uh, these are residents. Resident and, whales. Yeah, and they travel great distances. So we're going to try and just catch up and have a look and see what we're doing today. Now, how often do you see whales that we're talking about? Is it every day? We're going to put Larry on the spot right now. So we don't see nothing. We're going to throw Larry out the boat. So, <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm pretty tough. There we go. Got uh, A30s here. A30s are uh, the common resident pod that we see every summer. Okay. And the loudest sound is the mom. Is there any kind of calls that we can do? Oh! Oh! <laughs> so now we've just turned off the engine, and uh, well, we've got a resident group of these big whales heading our way. Now, We've all heard about, you know, of course, the beast. <laughs> and then, of course, we know about the king of the beast, the lion. Well, let's talk about the killer whales. Well, the king, well, we've got to call it the queen. The queens, they run the show here. Let's see how they're running the show right now. Let's see if uh, the beast can catch a couple of these uh, nature's beasts. <laughs> there we go, right over here. <laughs> there we go. Really close. That was a female. Woo! Yeah, now now this one's really coming close here to the boat. My heart's definitely pumping. Here we go. There we got a big one there. There we go. We got two of them here. Wow, that's uh, really close. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I better just uh, make sure I sell them. <laughs> this is nuts. Man, I tell you, these... This gives you a sense of what nature is really about. Hello, fellow <laughs> scientists, us. Hey, you. Nice to see everyone. <laughs> um, hey. What a question, it's a bit treacherous around you. Okay. Watch yourself. I, I understand you're pretty good on your feet, though. <laughs> but let me introduce yes. our, our group. Yes, you're welcome to guys. Yes, welcome to I'm looking forward to learning more yeah. and to, uh, you know, experiencing more of this paradise. This is what whales are about. This is nature. What we're doing is listening to a network of uh, hydrophone stations that cover about 50 square kilometers of the surrounding area. Have you been able to 
find out like what a hello call means. You know what I mean? Like so, once it's woo, could you like say woo, and then it would say hello back or yeah, it's a it it's a good enough question. The simple answer is no, not no, a, not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> And so is there anything that we know for certain or that you've learned for certain about these whales in their language? I suppose the, the one thing that you can be fairly sure about is that the whales know what they're saying to each other. Mm. You know, they, they understand each other. They've been doing it for a long time and they know precisely who they're talking to and they know precisely what they're saying. We don't understand what, what they're doing, but we see little nuances sometimes that uh, t tell us little bits, but we're a long, long way above from uh, figuring out what's actually going on with these guys. Their, their life is a mystery to us, and that's great, actually. Who wants to know everything right now? That's right. You know, <laughs> I'm quite certain that they understand what they're talking about, mm -hmm. and they know exactly who they're talking to, and there are things going on in communication with them that are that are real. You know, they're, so at a certain point, maybe we'll catch up. You know. So I'm out here on this on the, on the boat, and I'm wondering what would happen if I flipped off into the water around some of these orcas. Would I get eaten up, or what, what, what would happen? Well, I have to ask you a question. Uh. Can you swim? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Let me tell you what. Uh, okay, if you can swim, mm, mm. <laughs> I'll tell you what you, what'll happen. You'll get cold. Okay. You'll get cold very quickly. This water is pretty yeah, cold, this, yes, that's this, right. This water is very, Ooh, very quick. That's so no I, joke. I, I wouldn't recommend sticking around too long. Right. But don't worry about the whales. Don't worry about the whales. No, don't worry about the whales. Yeah. So, <laughs> so realistically, yeah, they're just going to leave me alone. They're not going to eat me up. They're just going to keep moving on their business. Well, they might cruise by and check you out. Okay. Yeah. You might feel uh, some echolocation from them, which oh, are like, wow. mm, in, your, in, in your body. Nice. You know, That's right. Pulses that Paul they got put a out. Punch there, Lots man. of energy. You know. <laughs> man, you got a punch here. Man, you're just living in nature. That's a, that's a grizzly bear Adams. And, ah, it just came out in them. That's great stuff. Yeah. I mean, I anyway, no, don't mm. don't worry about all because they're they're pretty pretty cool and pretty uh, right. calm and pretty aware of what's going on. Right. Mm. Well, that's awesome mm -hmm. stuff. Again, I like to thank you for. Let me visit the cool paradise, you know. Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah thank really you very much. Man. You're cool. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Sprung. That's, yeah, did right. I get the name right? Yeah. Sprung? Uh, almost. Almost. Okay, <laughs> since Eddie, let, let, let us say it right here. Here we go. Sprung. Sprung. That's right. See, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. I promise you I'm going to get it right. I like Sprung. Though. Sprung. Okay, yeah. he likes it. See, I'm cool. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> now, from what I'm told, those are transit orcas. Transit orcas. They're the baddest in the sea. What do I mean by the baddest in the sea? These guys are actually the ones that are killing the other mammals of the sea. They're the ones that eat the seals, the dolphins, even the occasional shark. Well, the other ones here that are residents, well, they're just primarily eating the fish. Let's see if we can check them out again. Now that's absolutely incredible. We've got three transit whales right here. And actually, if you look really carefully, you can see a little baby orca running around there. Three. Oh. Now that's what I'm talking about. The transit orca right behind us. A very rare sight. And only can you see that here at Telegraph Cove. <laughs> The transit orca. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I've had a really good time. And just remember one thing. I'm Bob the Beast Sap. And this has been Nature of the Beast. <laughs> See ya. Cold, BC, and I'm here to see some killer whales. Or orcas. 
Come with me. We're gonna look at them right now. 